More air sliding. I am the usual guy, and I have another guest with me. Hi, I'm BFC. I'm the new guy. Yay, and we're gonna go into space, which... I don't know why they always say space is the final frontier, because it's the third after the train and the lab, so... Uh, I know. I mean, the next we'll have the fifth frontier, and, and the sixth... The Mega Busters really, there's like nine. <laughs> yeah, the Mega Busters okay, but we're gonna use the charge kick for now. If you notice, I, um, I showed off something that I didn't show off before, which is you can press select to switch your weapons quickly. Mm -hmm. Um... It only cycles one way, though, because it's just select, but it's useful. I never use it, though, because I'm not that... I normally don't use it, I just use the menu. So used to it. Yeah. It is faster, and I think they added that in for Mega Man 10. Yeah. That yeah, that one you use, uh, I think it was B and plus or something. Uh, I don't remember at all. <laughs> Also, we continue the tradition of uh, checkpoints having extra lives. Also, something you told me about is that you can slide on ladders and shoot. Yeah, so it's I, actually I never... not useful at all. So here's gravity hold, and well, okay. Holy shit. <laughs> so basically, this is Metal Storm now. Hull, oh, favorite game. Yeah, Honestly, I, I I'm not going to lie. I've played this game a tad bit, and um, I I love. Gravity holds so much. Yeah. You can fire off like normal, you can hold up and up or down to change your gravity, it's very useful. Basically any uh, part with the ceiling you can just cheese the hell out of it with it. Without a ceiling you uh <clears throat> you fall up and die. Yeah, basically. See like those spikes, those spikes aren't a problem. <laughs> no. Anyway, this whole Never. part was just for the M. This is a dead end, so we have to kill ourselves. Um, Wait, what? Okay, then. Uh, uh, that uh, wasn't there before, so... Sure, whatever. This is a record. Three videos in, you've already broken the game. Yep. Wait, there was something on the other side? What? I guess. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. So anyway, we were supposed to go this way, so let's go there. Really, there's nothing <laughs> you can do in Glitch World other than uh, kill yourself or get trapped in a wall. Which is like killing yourself just if you have to reset the game. It's like killing yourself in real life, actually. Basically. I would know. No. Oh, hey, look, it's this room again. <laughs> what the? What? So this is this is this is where the rooms are from normally. How does this work? I don't know. It's just one of those things where you forget where the ROM hacker forgot to say, "Hey, the ceiling kills you if you." gravity up to it, so, I don't know. I'm kind of curious whether or not if you would have fallen into that specific hole, if you hadn't done that, would you have, like, been standing on nothing? Or would it have killed you by shoving you into the wall? Yeah, if I didn't if I didn't go up the specific way they wanted me to, I would have got trapped in a wall. Anyway, Starman, he floats and he shoots Star Crash. But he um, makes the second Starman. A <laughs> Gemini Starman. Yeah. Doesn't seem much harder than that. Nah, he, he's kind of just sl floats along slowly, and you get you have to avoid getting hit by the star crash and avoid the uh, trying to shoot it through it. But other than that, he's still just about as easy as he was before. It seems like a very exploitable area with the. And um, now I have become Tao Tao, destroyer of eyeballs. Ow. And also destroyer of the background. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Oh, the small. You've won the game, now slowly descend to the floor. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Starman already showed off Star Crash somewhat, which actually makes a second Mega Man. And really? blocks shots, and then you can let go of it to fire it off. Huh. So we'll see that next time. See you then.